that's honey. What's truly good, family? I'm gonna show you guys the accessories that I use for my iPad to use Logic Pro for iPad. All right, so I'm gonna start with the dongle that I use. So this right here is the Type-C, which is basically a pass-through for charging. This has a HDMI, and this also has USB 3.0 and the port that goes into my iPad, which is the iPad Pro, it's a Type-C cable. So this is really convenient because I can mirror image my screen via HDMI, which I think is really helpful. And then sometimes I, I, need, I may need to charge my iPad, so the Type-C is convenient as well. So let me show you how I have this plugged in. So I'll plug this in via Type-C, and then I have another dongle here that I'll show you guys in just a few. I'll take this into my USB hub and then I'll plug that in, boom. And so this powers my MIDI controller, which is my Arteria Mini Lab. This is going via the USB straight into the USB hub. This is super old, honestly, but you can find something like this on Amazon. I'll show this to you guys. So this is the next best vital piece. So this has a USB, 2.0 and then this has four USB 2.0 ports. So this is extremely useful for plugging in interfaces. That will go into the USB 3.0, boom. And then now I can plug in my keyboard, boom. This is the uh, USB to my X32, a big interface. And then we're going to talk about a miniature interface that you can use which is the Revelator IO44. Now this I love to use for situations like this because with the iPad Pros, we do not have a headphone jack. So this allows me to record a mic. So this has one mic input. This has a headset and a line in. So if you have a headset with a microphone attached, you can actually plug that in. It has its own separate input, which is dope. Now everything with this is onboard DSP. So all of your controls and everything is gonna happen via the screen. So your presets and all of that. And I'll leave a link below for you guys to check out this interface, but this is a really good, small, compact interface. All right, now if you don't wanna get this dongle, what you could also do is go to Amazon and get this little Type-C converter. This is super, super small, but I got this on Amazon. This basically will convert your USB to type C. So you can actually eliminate this dongle and then you can actually just go ahead and do type C, convert this uh, USB hub to type C and just go directly into the iPad and boom, everything is powered back on. It just depends on your user case. Like I know for me, this is gonna be crucial because I do mirror image my iPad to my monitor here um, when I'm working on stuff just to have that nice bigger screen as well as a compact screen. Can't forget this, almost forgot. This is the Magic Keyboard from Apple that Apple makes. So this is what I have my iPad mounted on. I want to show you guys this. I have the link in the description for this as well. But this uh, allows me to obviously use the keyboard and it comes with a mouse trackpad, but there's shortcuts um, on the keyboard that you can do in Logic Pro for iPad. Another thing that's dope about this is it actually has a pass through for charging here. You can see this type C. So you can actually charge your iPad through here. So if you don't wanna use the pass through from the dongle, then you can definitely use the pass through here. Just wanted to keep this video short and simple for you guys, so check it out. If you wanna learn more about Logic Pro for iPad, I got some really good videos for you right over here.